For all of you who have perfect vision, I have to say you're kind of missing out. Sure, you can do things like, I don't know, see, but for those who are graced with the blurs like me, glasses are an added fashion statement that we can change whenever we want. Horn rimmed, colorful, wire. There were the x-ray glasses I bought from the back of a comic book as a kid. Horn rimmed worked better. But now innovators are helping those with vision that's restricted by creating glasses filled with liquid. The eyes are the gateway to visualize our vivid world. And like a camera, each eye has an iris to control incoming light and a lens to bring the things we look at into sharp focus. The problem is, as we age, our eye lenses harden, weakening their tunability to autofocus on things near or far. It's a condition called presbyopia, and one professor of electrical engineering is working on a solution to correct it. I decided to develop these liquid lenses. They look like regular spectacle glasses, but they are not solid. They are more like a bladder with a fluid inside. It's a liquid which is perfectly clear, so you can see through, you don't lose your, your light. And a fluid that has a high index of refraction. So we ended up using glycerin, and we can adjust the shape of the lens by basically injecting more fluid or removing more fluid from the bladder. I traveled to Salt Lake City and the University of Utah to meet Carlos Mastrangelo and PhD student Mohit Karkanis to find out how these innovative liquid glasses may one day help keep your vision sharp. Now these tunable lenses are sort of a pouch which is filled with glycerin and then there's a piston attached which pushes the glycerin in and pulls the glycerin out, which changes the shape of the lens and allows us to control the power of the lens. And the reason that we want to change the shape of the lens is because is we're adjusting for different focus. That's correct. Conventional methods of lens correction include progressive or multifocal eyeglasses, which split the field of view into regions for both close and distant viewing, but never allows an image to be fully in focus. That lens somehow has to make it into a pair of glasses then, right? So how do we get from there to there? These lenses are mounted inside the eyeglasses like so. And then if you can hold the eyeglasses, you'll be able to see two lenses within the eyeglasses. Oh. If you flip these guys, you'll see a small sensor in here. That is the distance sensor, which allows our eyeglasses to keep a track of the object distance mm. from your nose. These have a little bit of weight to them. So what is the other technology that's operating inside of this pair? On the left-hand side over here consists of the processor, which drives the lenses. Okay. On the right-hand side are our all command and control electronics, including the Bluetooth communication system. Carlos and his students still have work to do to make the liquid glasses practical for sale, but he's pushing them to go farther, shrinking the technology into wearable contact lenses.